hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a recruiter YouTuber that right now thinks that she has a cat hair in her eye. So if I'm winking at you, it's because this cat hair, it's driving me nuts. But okay, today I'm going to do a video that I have done four times before and I saw on Betty Bean's channel a pretty long while back I think where she talked about 10 palettes in her collection I think it was 10 at least and if she would buy them again if they were released now I thought this was really fun so I started to do these myself and I usually ask my boyfriend to pick out 10 palettes for me because I think it's fun when he take palettes and not me but today I am doing a special edition of this one because I thought that I could go through my Colourpop palettes and talk if I would buy them again. And the thing that I feel with Colourpop is they are really inexpensive and I think the quality is mostly good. And I think, at least for me, <laughs> sometimes I have bought Colourpop palettes just because getting free shipping or like, yeah, I'm on Colourpop site, I can just pick another palette, maybe I will love it. So I tend to have bought palettes from Colourpop that I maybe didn't want, but like I was shopping on Colourpop, so I did buy them. So I thought it could be fun to go through the palettes. So I have six monochromatic palettes, and then I have nine other palettes in mixed size. I guess the, yeah, 15. So I thought that we could just go through these palettes together and I will see if I would buy them again and I will start with the monochromatic palettes. So the first one is the Aha Honey, I hate this name. This is the Pielo. Why do I have such a hard time with like pink, purple and yellow? I don't know. This is the yellow monochromatic palette and I do really love red, orange and yellow eyeshadow so i was so happy about this but like i wouldn't buy this again i think some of the colors are really nice i do hate that it is um pressed glitter in this one i don't get why you do that um but i don't think it's that fun but at the same time like i don't think that yellow is such a color that you can do really really much with and I wouldn't buy this again. Some of the shades I do really like, but this isn't a palette that I would buy if it came out now. This was one of the first monochromatic palettes and they were really like a hit when they came out, I think. I can't remember which one was the first. Maybe it was the Orange You Glad? I don't remember, but like it was such a hype about them and they really made a thing out of monochromatic palettes. And the next palette is actually Orange You Glad. And as I said, orange is one of my favorite colors. But I actually wouldn't buy this either. I don't think it's like that special. I don't know if I love orange, even though I really, really love orange. I don't know if I want a nine pan palette just with orange. And some of these shades are so, so good. Like this Tangerine, Tangerine Dreams is such a nice shimmer. But I think this is not, it's not orange enough to be an monochromatic orange palette. I don't know, I don't like the backgrounds that they did in the beginning. I don't know how they look now though. Um, I feel like it would be better if this was a white background or a black background even. Maybe not, but like a darker so the shadows pop more because I feel like some of the shadows are disappearing into the plastic. And it's also a pressed glitter in this one. Hate it. So I wouldn't buy this either. Then the blue moon, and blue, as you know, is not my favorite. It looks like this, and this, I would actually buy this again, because if I would own one blue palette, I think this would be the one. Because I think that this is really versatile for being a blue palette, even though it's only a nine pan. 
and I do really like the most of these colors and I think the shimmers are good and I have actually done free looks one palette with this one that I did really like but mine my shadows are like popping up so yeah this I would actually buy again which I think is a little bit surprising but like if I was only going to own one blue palette I think it actually would be this then I also have the Mint 2B, and this I wouldn't buy again. It, it looks like this. If I'm going to be honest, I don't really know why I bought this. Maybe I saw one like good review on this, and I was like, oh. Then I bought it, I have used it twice, maybe, one first impression, and yeah. I think this is just a little bit too meh for me. But it could be because of the background is the color it is. I get that they want to do like a monochromatic palette and it looks like kind of cute. But I think that some of the lighter shades doesn't come out as good as they maybe could. So this I wouldn't buy either. And has this always been the squeaky? I don't know, but I wouldn't buy this again. Then I have Just My Luck and this, do you remember hype about this? And it looks like this. And this I would actually buy if it came out now. I do really like it. I like that it has some grunge to it. I love this shimmer in the middle. It is so, so good. Maybe you should just use this. I love the darker colors and even though is maybe not the monochromatic green palette. I do really, really like it. I do need to use this more. So yeah, this one I would buy again. And the last monochromatic palette I have is Lilac You A Lot. And I bought this when I bought the Mint To Be. It looks like this and you, I guess you know what I think the problem is with this one. Like this color and these colors are just disappearing into the pan. I've done a look with this that I did really like if I'm not mistaken. I would though not buy this if this came out now. Even though I like purple more now than I did when I bought this. I just don't think this is for me. Like I want some more darker purple and I just... Yeah, I don't know, but I wouldn't buy this if this came out today. Should I just maybe declare some of these? I don't know. Then we do other palettes and first up the Sweet Talk. I don't know, this might have been in some of the other videos, but this palette. I really, really love this palette. I don't know why, because this isn't my typical palette. But I would absolutely buy this again. It is just so good. It has something about it that I can't put my finger at. But it feels like a lot of people that do have this palette has the same feelings that I do. I don't know what it is. But, but this is a really nice palette. And even though the background is a little bit annoying, I still really like it. And it is just a really nice a really nice palette from Colourpop. I would definitely buy it again. Next up is the whatever palette. And now this is getting hard because this palette, like this Miss Bright Side, is such an amazing dark, dark shade that is so good to pair with Not Okay. It is an amazing look. And the few shimmers that is in this palette are really, really good. And yeah, this dark one is amazing. It's so opaque, it's so even, and it's really, really deep. But I think that this could have been more fun, actually. I think, like, these colors, it, it's a little bit too similar. And I wished for more shimmers in this one. And not maybe this one and this one. And... I don't know, it's something with the mattes that I think it's off for me. So this, even though it has some really amazing shades, I wouldn't buy this again actually. Even though I really like this palette, but I think I could dupe out the things that I love in this. 
with others. Then the at forest site, and this I did use in the end of last year, is really pleasing to look at this palette. This is the Raw Beauty Crystal collab. It's really pleasing to look at and I do really like it but I do struggle with it. I don't know why but this is one of those palettes that I'm like looking so much forward to use and like thinking about it. Then I open it, look at it and then like what should I do? I have no idea. So I I didn't buy this because of Raw Beauty Christy. I am not a fan. I have never been following her. I have watched some of her videos, but I have never been like into Raw Beauty Christy. I have nothing against her at all. But I didn't buy it because of her. I bought it because how the palette looks. Maybe I would have felt a little bit different if I did like or watch Raw Beauty Christy, but I don't. So no, I don't think I would have bought this again. Even though I would have bought it for how it looks again, but I know the struggles that I do have with this one. So no, I wouldn't buy it. But I don't want to decluttering it either. So yeah, I don't know. I, I just think like I need to pair this with other palettes and I think then I can do amazing looks. But just that one, we're not vibing in some way or form kind of shape. The next palette I would buy a thousand times over. Sprinkle <laughs> Magic, the Tinker Bitch palette. This was one of my favorite palettes last year and this is just such a nice palette. Yes, there is some things that I want that I would like to change about this. Um, this tink, I wouldn't mind to switch out for another matte. And this one I would also like... Maybe a little bit different undertone to it. I don't know, but... Yeah. There is something that I want to switch out in this. But this is such an amazing palette. Like this Big Magic, it is such an amazing shade. This Awake, such amazing shade. This Place Between, such an amazing shade. This is a really, really good palette that I never thought that I was going to love, but I would buy this over and over again. There is like something with Colourpop. The palettes I don't think that I would love, like this one or Sweet Talk, is like the best palettes I have from Colourpop. I don't know why. Another little nine pan palette is the Mandalorian The Child. The Child. Mandalorian The Child. And this... It looks really cute. I didn't buy this because of Mandalorian Star Wars. I'm not the... Uh, I've think about this before. If you watch Star Trek, you are a Trekkie. If you watch Star Wars, you are a... Worry? I I think this is a little bit boring. I think some of the colors are a little bit like too too similar. So no, I wouldn't buy this again even though I like the looks that I've done with it. But I think I missed like the oomph with this one. So yeah, it has two darker shades but they are not like that intense. But it is a nice palette, but I wouldn't buy it again. Even this was also really, really, really hyped when it came. Oh, I almost dropped the palette. Next up is the Zodiac palette. And if I haven't, like... The thing with the Zodiac palette, maybe you won't see it. It looks like this. The thing with this palette is that I had a Syria with this. You must be so sick and tired of me talking about this. I had a Syria where I used one of the shades as a center in a look each month of the year as the, as the zodiac sign. Blah blah blah. Um, and I have some like good memories and fun memories with this. But if I wouldn't have owned it before and have those good memories, I wouldn't buy it again. But for if I could like 
keep the good memory. I would I would buy it again because of good memories. I wouldn't buy it again because of the palette. So I guess I wouldn't buy it again, but yeah. We have a little of a problematic relationship, me and this palette. Some of the shades are really good, like this Gemini, amazing shade. But I wouldn't buy this again if it was only down to the palette and not my feelings about the palette. So, no. And Kat Kathleen Lights. I don't think I watched a single video with her. So, three palettes to go. Lush Life. This was one of these palettes that I thought that I was going to love. Because I saw Anielka Nyqvist do an amazing look with this. I saw somebody else talk about this and I was like, oh, I need that. Bores have used it twice. Three times? Oh, twice, I think. I don't know about this. I think it looks more fun than it is. Like, if you take away these four colors, you have like a normal neutral palette. So this I wouldn't buy again. Because it isn't like... It's not that special. It looks more fun than it actually is. And this I don't struggle like with at Forest Side to do a look with. It's just that it isn't that fun that I thought it was going to be. So I wouldn't buy this again. Then we have this, the California Love. And I bought this together with the Sweet Talk and I bought... This was the reason, not the Sweet Talk. And this I wouldn't buy again. I wished for more, I wish this to be more orange, so maybe like if I could combine these two orange glad on this one, maybe that would be my best orange eyeshadow from Colourpop. But I wouldn't buy this again. It's nothing wrong with this, I have done looks that I've been really liking with this one, but it's not like anything special about this, so... I wouldn't buy this again. Then the last palette is this. This feels like a palette that people were like, the palette people missed out on. And it's the good sports. And <laughs> the thing with this palette is I would buy this palette again for just one shade. And that is Ebb. This is one of the most amazing shades that I have had in my collection. Maybe I could dupe this now. Maybe I'm going to do a video when I'm trying all my ebb, ebbish, ebbish shades. But I would buy this palette for only this shade. This, this isn't like the best quality when it comes to Colourpop. Some of the purples, and I think it's this one, Reckless. It's really dry, and this palette is really old, but like they have always been kind of dry. But I, this is a palette, like, I would have buy it again just because of this shade. It is a really amazing shade. So that was all the palettes, and this was actually fun. I don't know which palettes that did surprise me the most, but uh, yeah, I, I think that, like, I haven't bought a Colourpop palette for so long. The last one that I bought was this one and that was in summer of 2021 i think and i have not been like that yeah i had, did have a nobel last year but i don't it, it feels like i have what i want from colourpop if we say it like that i do hope that you liked this type like yeah would i buy it again colourpop edition i could definitely do with other brands that I have more palettes from, Colourpop is though the palette, the brand that I have most palettes from. I think from Nabla that I have 14 palettes maybe. So maybe I could do with Nabla and Kaleidos and maybe Menagerie. If you want that, please let me know. I do hope that you like this video. I will, I think I should do a playlist with all of these videos because I don't think that I have. Yeah, maybe I should do that. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!